Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On March 13, 2024, French Minister of the Armed Forces, Sébastien Lecornu, announced France's decision to double its deliveries of 155mm shells to Ukraine, now reaching 2,000 units per month. Among these deliveries are the Ralic F3 proximity fuses, revolutionary devices that have the potential to revolutionize artillery shell usage on the battlefield. This marks the second delivery of the Ralic F3 proximity fuse to Ukraine. Developed in France, the Ralic F3 represents a significant leap in artillery fuse technology. These proximity fuses, when used with standard 155mm he NATO munitions, are engineered to detonate a shell in mid-air, dispersing a cloud of fragments directed toward the target. This capability offers a significant tactical advantage by enhancing the effectiveness of strikes against enemy forces. Weighing 626 grams and measuring 151 millimeters in length by 61 millimeters in diameter, these devices are armed by recoil and centrifugal force during firing. An electrolyte containing ampule breaks, activating a capacitor which, along with centrifugal force, primes the firing circuit and aligns the rotor for detonation. The integration of these proximity fuses into the Ukrainian arsenal markedly enhances the precision and effectiveness of artillery strikes. Compatible with cannons such as the French Caesar or the German PZH-2000, these shells can engage targets up to 40 kilometers away, playing a pivotal role in the current conflict. Proximity fuses significantly augment the destructive potential of artillery shells by enabling an aerial explosion precisely above the target. This technology ensures that the shockwave and shrapnel are optimally dispersed, thereby maximizing damage inflicted on the target. Unlike traditional shells that detonate upon ground contact and may be hindered by obstacles or fortifications, proximity fuses create an extensive destruction zone, heightening the likelihood of hitting and neutralizing even concealed or moving targets. This detonation mechanism amplifies the destructive efficacy of the munitions, allowing for coverage of a larger area with a single shell, rendering proximity fuses particularly formidable against infantry formations, light equipment, and unarmored vehicles. The psychological impact on enemy troops, aware of the potential for precise targeting even under cover, further amplifies the effectiveness of these weapons. In essence, proximity fuses signify a leap forward in artillery warfare, offering unparalleled destructive capability on the battlefield. France's commitment to augmenting its shell deliveries underscores the urgency of supporting Ukraine in its escalating consumption of munitions. The European Union has allocated 2 billion euros to furnish Ukraine with 1 million shells. Nexter, the French manufacturer of the shells, plans to triple its annual production to 150,000 shells by 2025. Furthermore, on March 12, 2024, Prime Minister Gabriel Attal outlined France's forthcoming contributions to Ukraine. These encompass the provision of 150 drones, 100 loitering munitions, a total of 18 Caesar 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzers, with an initial delivery of 6 and an additional 12 to be financed by France, and the production of 3,000 artillery shells to bolster Ukraine's military endeavors. That's all for now. See you later.